Hello, today I will be going over how to set up the BCA analysis for a typical generator project step by step. The first step is to go ahead and open the Excel file for the BCA calculator. Once you have the Excel file open, you will need to click on the FEMA BCA V6.0 add-in. That will be displayed on the top right corner of your screen. Once you go ahead and click on that add-in, it will show you the FEMA BCA calculator on, this on, the, on the right hand side of the screen. You will go ahead and click open calculator. Once you click open calculator, it will show this pop-up of the BCA calculator. Now the first step here will be to add a project. You will see on the top left corner of your screen, there'll be the plus sign add project. Once you click that, it will allow you to enter in all your project information. We'll go in chronicle, chronological order for and start with project configuration. The project title, we'll put generator example for this the property location, which is next. Now you can either add the address or you can add the latitude and longitude coordinates. If you did have the latitude longitude coordinates, then you would want to click on right here. Click it will change the yes to no and it will allow you to enter in your latitude and longitude coordinates. If you do not have those readily, you can simply add in the address and that will show you what the coordinates are for that location. After you enter in the address, it will display the, the coordinates automatically. The next step will be to click on property structure type. Now for a generator project, critical facility buildings are eligible. So we'll go ahead and click on critical facility building. Following that, chronologically, you would think that hazard type needs to be selected next. But here we need to select infrastructure failure to mitigate power loss, and that is not available. And the reason for that is because by default, the toolkit has damage and frequency relationship based on model damages. Now, you will either need to have historical damages or professional expected damages to select the correct hazard type. If you do have an engineering firm that can provide you a professional opinion of what the expected damages would be in the studies for that, then you can definitely go that route. For this example today, we will be going with historical damages because we have supporting documentation for power outage duration. And once you have historical damages selected, you are now able to click on the infrastructure failure hazard type. After selecting that will be mitigation action type. The only option available is other, so that which will already be clicked. Now, once you have these three items and your damage and frequency relationship selected, you can move on to the next step. The next step here will be cost estimation. The first line will ask for the project useful life in years, and the project useful life or pull for a generator is 19 years based on FEMA standard pull table. Now, in order to access FEMA standard pull table and a plethora of other resources, you can click this little I button. This will display the help content. It will have resources, definitions for everything associated with this calculator. So if you go ahead and just click that project useful life title, it will display the pull table. And if you scroll down to generators and miscellaneous equipment, you will be able to see that generators have a standard pull useful life of 19 years. A higher pull life can be used if you had a manufacturer warranty or other official documentation that can demonstrate that. If not, the standard pull life will be 19 years. Once you have selected that, 
the next step will be to enter in the initial project costs. For this example project, the project costs will come out to $200,000. So we will have that entered into that. Following that, you'll see that the number of maintenance years is auto filled already to 19 because the generator has a useful life of 19. That's the maintenance years required for it. The next thing you will have to enter will be the annual maintenance costs. You should refer to the manufacturer's recommendations on what the upkeep should be. It can be any preventative maintenance such as checking for fuel leaks, transferring switching connections, replacing diesel filters, etc. And for this example, we will use 1200 as the annual maintenance cost. Now you will see that the total mitigation project cost will increase and that is adding the project cost plus the 19 years of maintenance cost needed for this project. So the total cost will be displayed here automatically. Once you have all these fields entered, the next step will be to click the next button on the bottom right corner of your screen. Once you go ahead and click that, it will take you to the next page of the calculator. Now the first section here goes over damage analysis parameters. The only field that you will need to enter in here will be the year the property was built. For our example location, we have a, we have a record stating this property was built in 1999. Once you have entered that in, you can move on to the next step, which is critical facility properties. Here you will either you will select what type of critical facility. This generator will be used for. It can be a fire station, hospital, police station, or there is the other category. If it is a fire station, it will ask you a few more questions. How many people are served by this fire station, etc. Same thing for hospital and same thing for police station. If this is a critical facility that falls in the other category, such as Department of Public Works, you will enter in the service name here. And the annual operating budget. That is given. Now, based on our documentation, the annual operating budget for this Department of Public Works is $3 million. So we'll go ahead and input that into there. Once you have done so, the next section will be historical damages before mitigation. Now, based upon our documentation, we were able to see the power outage duration for the past few years and calculate that into days. So I'll go ahead and enter in that information. And for 2020, there were two days the power was out. And now to add a row, you will go ahead and click the plus add row button right here. Go ahead and do that. And in 2019, this facility experienced 12 days of power outage duration. 2018, it experienced a total loss of power for 14 days. In 2017, it experienced 10 days of power outage in total. And in 2012 with Hurricane Sandy, there were almost about 21 days of power outage. After filling in that information, there is also optional damages that you can enter. For example, if you had invoices or receipts of any repairs that were made to this generator, things like that, you can enter that in. And once you have that, we do not have any for this example, so we will move on to the next section here, which is expected damages after mitigation. Now, the expected damages after mitigation. For this, generators 
the level of protection is based upon the probability of the generator's failure. So based on a FEMA's approved methodology, over the generator's 19-year project useful life, there is a 5% chance that during a power outage, the generator might not function and would result in a one-day outage duration. So after calculating that, comes out to 371 and as a recurrence interval and one impact day. And after you have that completed, you will now be able to view your benefit cost summary at the bottom here. We'll show you the standard, the benefits, the costs, and the ratio. Here, the benefit cost ratio comes out to 1.06, which is above one, and this demonstrates project cost effectiveness. The following step, you will click finish in the bottom right corner of your screen, and that will take you back to this page. Over here, you will be able to see the benefit cost ratio. Now to exit out of this file, you click on the X on the top right corner of your screen. And I would wait a few seconds until this screen pops up. This shows that your data was saved in that toolkit. And once you click OK, now it is saved. And if you wanted to go back, it will be there. 